Excel geocoding and maybe something a little fun? That's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're gonna do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. And this is the last roundup from the cube before I move. So let's get it done. First up on the list is a blog post from Sohil Bakashi, where he looks at how you can use Excel to analyze data that's in Power BI. This is the Analyze in Excel feature. This has been out for a little while, but he walks through how you can actually get up and running with Excel and use that data to gain insights. This requires that you download the Power BI Publisher for Excel and that you're on Excel 2007 or later. But if you meet all those requirements, you can go ahead and do this today. Be sure to check out this blog post if you've been curious about it and you're not quite sure how to do it. Next up is a blog post from Ankit Patir where he looks at how you can do geocoding with our server and Google Maps using Power BI. This is a great blog post that talks about how to actually set up Power BI Desktop to use with R scripts, and then writing that R script to actually go out to Google Maps, get the data that you need, and visualize that inside of Power BI. It's a very complex topic, something I'm very interested in. I hope you are too. Be sure to check out this blog post. Next up is a blog post from the Power BI team where they talk about a new feature for dashboarding. You can now customize your dashboard experience for a portrait phone layout. So you can actually dictate what it will look like on the phone when they go to view your dashboard in the mobile app. This will only take effect if they're in portrait mode. So if they go to landscape mode, it's, it's not going to apply to that. So this is a great feature if you want to be able to customize what your users see when they use your dashboard on the mobile app. So if you haven't seen this feature, be sure to check out the blog post and then see how to use it. If you're a developer using the REST APIs for Power BI, this blog post is for you. So there are a bunch of new items that are available for creating data sets. There's a bunch of properties that are available. You can add relationships, you can define columns. There's a whole slew of things that are now available, which is awesome. Also, this blog post talks about the ability to work with sequence numbers when you're pushing data to your data set. Sometimes when you push the data, you may not get a response, and so the sequence number allows you to re-push that data and let Power BI decide if it's a duplicate or not. That way, you don't have to guess. So again, if you're using the REST APIs, be sure to check out this blog post to see what's new and available for you. Okay, who's not playing Pokemon Go? Be honest. Everyone I've walked by that's on a cell phone that I've seen of all ages, adults, children, parents, grandparents, everyone's playing Pokemon Go. So Jessica Cook posted a blog post on a dashboard that she saw from a publish to web perspective that is all about Pokemon Go. And so if you want to know more about the creatures that you can collect, be sure to check out this blog post and see the dashboard that someone shared. It'll give you a little bit more info to maybe give you the edge against everyone else you're playing with. Okay, which one was your favorite item? Go and leave that in the poll up above or down in the comments below. As always, I have the links for all of the items I talked about in the description below. And if you liked this video or this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe for more great content. Every Thursday I do an information roundup where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me and share that out with you. And every Tuesday I do a technical item where I either look at how something works, how to troubleshoot something, or just look at a new feature. And really, this is about you. I want to help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.